I saw some dumb shit that irritated the fuck out of me. And everybody wants to post shit. It's, they're making like Facebook t-shirts now. And what I mean by Facebook t-shirts is they're posting little dumb shit. Okay, it's not even cute as a meme. Now, why the fuck would you put it on a goddamn shirt? Because these are some stupid... I'll just show you. You've all seen them. You may have even posted them. Back off! I have a crazy sister. She has anger issues and a serious dislike for stupid people. And I'm not afraid to use her. Alright, first of all, nobody gives a fuck about your sister. Unless they know the bitch, they don't give a fuck. Secondly, <clears throat> this is thrown around so loosely anymore. It's fucking, it floors me. The the hatred for stupid people. I fucking hate stupid people. God damn, I hate stupid people. Can't be stupid. I hate stupid motherfuckers. I hate fucking stupid people. I hate stupid people. And I mentioned to you that I hate stupid motherfuckers. Well, if you hate stupid people so much, you must be one self-loathing fucking shell of a motherfucker. Don't pretend that you're fucking smart. Saying that everybody else is stupid doesn't just automatically make you intelligent. And talking over everybody doesn't make you a fucking expert. Not allowing anybody to argue their case doesn't mean that you won the argument. Dumbass motherfucker, you talking about you hate stupid people. You must hate your fucking self. Because I've yet to hear you say anything intelligent, motherfucker. I used to work with this fucking dude. Look a lot like Curly Joe. Or Curly from the Three Stooges, but more of a dick. And he would get on Facebook almost every night. <laughs> Post little memes like, I'm doing good to go to work and not stab somebody for being fucking stupid. Why don't you just stand in the mirror at your house and just stab yourself in the fucking neck a bunch of times, you fucking idiot. Trying to play out like you're some kind of fucking bad motherfucker when you ain't shit. And all of a sudden you think you're fucking smart. <laughs> I hate stupid people. Yeah, well, motherfucker, you're one of them. Why don't you go give yourself another self-given nickname? Scrapes or whatever the fuck your name is. Quit telling yourself that you're fucking smart. You're not. And you ain't never been smarter than me, pussy. Bitch, please. Your vagina has been used more than Google. <laughs> somebody was dying to fucking say that. They heard somebody else say it that thought it's funny as shit. Oh, your pussy's been used more than Google. <laughs> you're a fucking idiot. And are you really going to fucking wear that? Halfway through your day, going different places, get stopped, get coffee, whatever, you got that stupid shit on your shirt. And everybody's going to think you're real fucking cute for wearing it, right? Nope. I'm that crazy girl who loves tattoos and happens to say the F word. <laughs> oh, oh, well, <laughs> that makes you so fucking unique because you're the only bitch out there. This says fucking loves tattoos. My fucking hero, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. It ain't gonna lick itself. All right, let's, first of all, bitch, let's not pretend that we're talking about candy canes, okay? But when I see something like this, there's a fucking bitch with zero class. I was married to a whore one time, and that fucking cunt went to the goddamn bar Went and got a fucking t-shirt, went to Spencer's, went to the mall, came back with his fucking t-shirt, you know, it had looked like it had rolling stone lips on it. And it ain't gonna lick itself. And the fucking snapperhead bitch went out to the fucking bar wearing that. Totally fucking disrespectful, man. Disrespectful as fuck. So whenever I see a shirt like that, I'm thinking that worthless fucking whore, I bet she's got a man at home. Wondering where the fuck she's at or if she's putting her goofy looking snatch on some other dude's face. If my mouth doesn't say it, my face definitely will. Yeah, the old resting bitch face. Why are you bitches so proud of that? Oh, I get it. You're a, such a bitch all the fucking time. Your face is just permanently stuck with the mad bitch look. It's nothing to be proud of. Okay? Simple bitch face. Fuck out of here. Nobody gives a fuck, bitch. I'll rail a fat dick right down your fucking throat. Shut up. Five things you should know about my girlfriend. One, she is my queen. Two, she is a bit crazy and scares me sometimes. 
Three, she can't control her mouth. Four, she has anger issues. Five, mess with her and they'll never find your body. Okay, settle down, Tattoo. First of all, <laughs> you ain't gonna do shit, pussy. Because you're the guy at home that's hearing this bitch all in his fucking ear all the time. And she screams a bunch of disrespect at you on the regular. Well, I'm supposed to believe you some kind of stone cold killer motherfucker because you got a sleeved arm and, you know, a, a tight t-shirt on. You some... No, dude. Sounds like she's wearing the pants at your house. Yeah, so I'm not in the least bit worried about you burying anybody. Get the fuck out of here with that fucking bullshit. Tough guy. They call me a lucky man because I have a freaking sexy girlfriend. She has anger issues. She is a bit crazy and scares me sometimes. But I love her and she is my life. Mess with her and they'll never find your body. All right, let me explain something to you, Tattoo. And I keep just pointing out Tattoo because you look at his left arm and he's got his sleeve pulled back more than the other, just, just so you know, I got some fresh ink on. Okay, okay. My hero, you're the only person that's ever had a tattoo. But anyways, we won't get caught up in that. We'll get caught up in your fucking t-shirt. You can write whatever the fuck you want on that goddamn t-shirt, dude. I promise you. Whether the bitch is your life, or you're gonna kill motherfuckers, or she's crazy, and she's this, and she's that, and waka waka waka, nobody gives a fuck, dude! That t-shirt will not plug that pussy hole.